Hello everybody, so here's a huge surprise. Call of Duty's latest iteration of the franchise, Modern Warfare, just dropped a Battle Royale mode titled Warzone. And it's alright, it's decent. I've always liked the moment-to-moment -moment gunplay in these games. These games have always kind of been a guilty pleasure for me. I'll buy it every year because of the campaign is usually good and the multiplayer is pretty addictive. Well, I didn't get Black Ops 4 because it was a full price game with no campaign, which I thought was kind of insulting, so so I kind of boycotted it for that year. But all the other ones I've bought and thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, before we get started though, as you can see, this is a brand new channel and I have like no subscribers, so if you did that, it would make me a very happy person. So I'm a sucker for online shooters and I'm also a sucker for battle royale games. And just like I said, this one's alright, it's acceptable, but at this moment in time when there are more exceptional battle royale games like Fortnite and Apex Legends, being just alright and acceptable is simply not enough. There's really nothing special to this mode. Okay, there were a few things that I found interesting which I'll get into later, but there's no wow factor. There's no unique personality, it's very dull and it has a very half-baked feeling to it. And I'm calling this a mode instead of a game because that's all it is. It's not a full-fledged new game. It's a mode that has been tagged on using all of the resources from an already existing game. Anyway, I was pretty excited when I found out that this mode was coming out, but after my first few matches, I was like, yeah, I see what this is. It's kind of a cash grab. It uses the same maps that are already in the game. There are no new weapons items or kill streaks, the battle pass is still horrible, and it really just seems like one of the other modes in this game ground war, but just with some tweaks. Yeah okay, you can argue that it's free, meaning that if you don't own the base game Modern Warfare, you could download this mode for free. Anyways, that's still no excuse to be lazy and put a subpar game out if you're going to dip your toes in the battle royale genre. Remember that Fortnite and Apex Legends are free, and they're way better. It's pretty obvious that Activision is just looking to sell a few more battle passes and try to get newcomers to buy the base game, which they will undoubtedly do. Now with all that being said, it sounds like that I'm shitting on it, but I must say that I did have some fun. But there were some weird choices that they made and I just couldn't help but think that I'd rather be playing something better. So the matches consist of 150 players in squads of 3. There are no solos. So the matches are a little longer than you might expect, and they're a little bit harder to win, too. And just like every other Battle Royale game, you drop down from a pooping airplane and parachute onto the ground where you loot stuff and kill other players. Yes, it's very familiar stuff. The first thing I notice right before you even leave the airplane is that they show you where the first circle is going to be. This negates the effectiveness of the early tension from not knowing where the first initial circle is. The next thing that I didn't really like was that not only do they give you a gun right out of the airplane, they also give you two out of three shield cells. One fun aspect of these games is the initial tension of not knowing where the circle is going to be and then scrambling for shields and weapons, which this mode totally takes away. The shields are also very abundant in the map. What's the point of having them if you're always maxed out with a stockpile in your inventory? When you find a decent gun and get going, it still very much feels like Call of Duty, which is definitely a good thing. It's very fluid, aside from a few times that the game froze on me and I had to quit, the performance was pretty much perfect. Nothing was cumbersome, inventory management and pinging felt natural, and parachuting off tall buildings is really fun, fluid, and forgiving. There are also vehicles that are very easy to handle, feeling really arcadey. You got a couple trucks, an ATV, and a helicopter. None of which have overpowered guns for players to exploit, which is good. It's also surprisingly fun to drive them around considering how easy they are to handle. That and you could run people over to kill them. I had a blast this one time when my whole squad found trucks and we just drove around like morons trying to run people over. One thing that I really like is that when you die, you go to the gulag to square off in a 1v1 gunfight with another random player who has died with a random weapon, usually a pistol or a shotgun, and you have a chance to respawn if you win. 
There can only be one gunfight going on at a time, so while you're waiting, you can watch the fight that's happening while goofing around with the other players that are queued up by punching them, and you could also throw rocks at the guys that are fighting down below. I thought this was a pretty neat way to give an instant second chance, and you always get a rewarding feeling when you win since you get an instant respawn and get back to the action literally about a minute after you die. But if you lose the gunfight, you could still get revived by your teammates via these purchase stations where you could buy kill streaks among other things. The economy is nicely balanced, and you can get money either by finding it around the world and getting it from other players who drop it after you kill them. But another way that you could cash out pretty big is by completing contracts, which you can pick up just like any other item and consists of stuff like killing another player in the world, opening loot chests, or reconning an area. Stuff like that. It's a neat idea and gives you something to do other than the main objective. And it's also vital to be able to afford things like kill streaks, self revives, and being able to revive your teammates. There are also loot crates that you could buy, but they also fall from the sky pretty frequently actually, which lets you pick one of your personally custom made loadouts. These are probably the most valuable things that you could get because I haven't really noticed too many top tier guns in the game and it's the only way that you could obtain perks like the valuable ghosts and tracker. There are also a lot of buildings and it can actually feel a bit too dense. You can get flanked very easily and if you're in a 1v2 situation you will most likely lose. So sticking with your team is very important. So like I said before this game is free so yeah try it out. You've really got nothing to lose, but don't expect to be blown away or even really that impressed. The economy, contracts, and buy stations is what kept me interested for the few days that I played this. I probably won't play it anymore. I have Modern Warfare and I have more fun playing just multiplayer. Modes like Ground War and Warzone are just so disappointing to me because if you're a Call of Duty and you're going to copy something, you have to surpass whatever you're copying especially if you have the resources that Activision does. So thanks everybody for watching. On a personal note, please be safe about this stupid coronavirus. You know, don't go nuts with the toilet paper, wash your hands, all that stuff. Just be safe. And if you like this video, subscribe. Peace out.